what city am objective for me? Or you go scroll along when I reach a click? Yeah. Okay. So, let me start now. Good afternoon, students. Our topic today is food groups, and our objective for this lesson is for pupils to be able to identify food groups and make healthy choices. Now, before we get into this lesson, I have a video to show you where I want you to pay keen attention to each food group and food that belongs to each group. Great. I hope you all are paying attention for to add the video. Now, you're going to tell me, the first thing we saw in the video is, what is food? So who can tell me, what is food? 
Yes, food helps us grow and live healthy. What else? What else does food help us to do? What does it give us? It gives us energy to do our daily activities. How many food groups are there? Five food groups. So in order to be healthy and strong, we need to eat food from all of these food groups. We need to get the right amount of nutrients. So group one, what is group one? Food with proteins and this help us to build muscles and our bones and make us what? Grow strong and tall. Yes, it also gives us energy and repair. Give me some examples of this group. Yes, milk, yes, correct. What else? Chicken, yeah. Now let's talk a bit about group two. What is group two? Food with carbohydrates. And this gives us energy to do our daily tasks. Is that true? Yes. Give me some examples of carbohydrates. Bread, correct. What else? Rice. Give me one more. Potato, good job. Then we have food with vitamins and minerals. And what does this help us to do? It keeps us healthy. What else? It gives us a strong immune system. Good job. Give me some example now of vitamins and minerals. Yes, cabbage, carrot. Good job. What about group four? Vitamins and minerals. We have this category now. We have fruits. Give me some fruits. We have orange, peaches, strawberry. Very well. What about the last group? Food with fats, correct. This keeps our body, who can tell me? It keeps our body warm. Good job. What else? What does it help us to do? It gives us what? Energy. Yes, it, it is also from animal fats and vegetable fats. Give me some example of food with fats. Butter. Good job. One more. Olive oil. Good job. Now on to Miss Rhoda. Okay. Pupils, I'll be taking over from, from Miss Ariel. Here we have a visual aid showing food groups. We have the food pyramid because we have food groups such as the fats and oil. We're showing cake and cookies. We have dairy. And we have some dairy products such as milk, cheese, meat, and poultry, poultry fall on the protein group, which consists of beef, chicken, fish. We have some vegetables, as you can see on the chart there, tomato, okra, and so on. We have fruits like grapes, apples, watermelon, and we have the food group, which is grains. We have, which consists of bread and cereals. Good. Now, I'm gonna present you with some fruits and foods. So here we have an apple and everybody see the apple? This belongs to the Food group, good. We have um, we have oil and butter, which belongs to the fats and oil group. Good. We have vegetables, which is belongs to the vegetable groups. We have our tomato, cucumber, lettuce. Good. And we have our we have fruits group. Another food group here. I showed you a picture here. Good. Now, let's identify some more some more food. 
We have the chicken in the corner there, which is poultry. Very good. And anybody can tell me what's the picture showing? Yes, correct. That is beans and legumes, which falls under the grains category or the grains group, food group. Good. Now, I'll now place you into different groups and you will identify the, the, the food and put, you are required to put them into different groups. So here is the activities conducted. Good. So now can somebody tell me what's the importance of the balance eating a healthy balanced meal in store have all the nutrients from the food groups, right? To become healthy so we can grow. Good. Uh, my thing stopped responding. <laughs> oh, God. How the? I don't know. So, so a healthy, balanced diet help us to keep us physically fit, keep our body fit and strong to do activities such as running, jumping, and to carry out our daily tasks such as doing chores at home and so on. Good. Now the food groups can be divided into different groups. We have legumes, fruits, vegetables, fats, food from animals and staple. Good. Now students, you will place yourself into groups that you are already in and we will create a poster using the different food groups with pictures of different food groups like these, right? Good. Also, we will do some worksheets. I will share out the worksheet. Here you go. Okay, student. Time to reflect and share. Now, pupils, what do you learn about the different types of food groups and their importance? Can you tell me? Oh, well, I hope you've been listening. What are your thoughts and feelings about the food groups? Okay, and I'll show you a video. We have
Okay. That brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening to us.